All right, guys, today is all about chicken wings. But before we get into the video, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. What's up, guys? Welcome back. As you can see, I'm not in my kitchen today. That's because I'm in beautiful, sunny California with my guy AB from Smoking and Grilling with AB. Today, we're making wings two different ways. I'm going to show you guys how to make a fried garlic parmesan wing. And then, of course, you know, you out here in this sunny uh, California, you know what I mean? I'm finna show you guys just how we gonna do it. We gonna do it on the grill, we gonna smoke them. I ain't gonna over talk it, so let's get it. Let's do it. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and dry these chicken wings off. We need some paper towel, lay a nice layer of paper towels down. Then we're gonna add our chicken wings to the paper towel. Super important when you're frying chicken wings, you want it to be nice and dry, that way that skin gets nice and crispy. Cause everybody likes a crispy chicken wing, right, Unc? Hey, for sure. Hey, now look, I like the way you did yours. Look, I did it this way after we separated them, right? right. I go ahead and I put this down this way. Mm -hmm. That's perfect because air can move around it, you know what I mean, and get to you super dry. Hey, why you at it? Let me get a roll of that. There you right? go. There you go, thanks. So look, I'm just going to take this and I pat here. You uh -huh. know what I mean? And I kind of like just make sure I get them like that. Right. Hey, but what you're doing, though, I like that. So I move over here. You finish that up. Lay them flat. Place another <laughs> layer on top and just press down. Let the paper towel do the work. That's right. These must be bounty, man. These are absorbing everything. All right. Now we're going down with a little bit of seasoned salt. Just a nice thin layer. We're going to season our flour as well, so no need to go too crazy on the seasoning. A little bit of onion powder. The wind's helping me out a little bit here. I see. And then last but not least, a little bit of that garlic butter. There we go. Then we're just gonna flip them over and hit them with the same triple combo there. Last but not least, that garlic butter. This stuff is delicious. So now that they're nice and seasoned, we're gonna pop these in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let the seasoning kind of settle in there and then we'll get started on our uh, grilled version. All right, so what you're seeing right now is, look, I put my little starter in here. We got the briquettes in here. You see them starting to burn. We're gonna wait till they turn white. And if you notice, if you're looking at the grill right there, look, only about one third of the grill is gonna have the heat. That right there is gonna be the direct side, right? But we're gonna put these wings on the indirect or what some people say, non-direct, however you want to say it. But that's the side we put them on there. That guarantees we don't have any uh, burn. Hey, nephew, let me just give it to you real. This right here is a real way you make a fire, man. Like, get away from that grill. You don't know how to start no fire. You know how to start no fire. Put this fire. This ain't no fire, goddammit. Hit it. Hit it. Go over there and give me all that wood. I know you know how to do it already. You know what I'm saying? But I just want you to soak in, you know, the sun out here. Yep. This is what we pay for living out here in California. No doubt. You know what I mean? I'm going to go back in the shade, though, because I'm going to get sunburned. <laughs> hey. <laughs> go ahead, then, nephew. Okay. okay, here we go. Challenge, throw the match. Now that's a fire. Okay, so look, patted mine dry, right? Remember, I told you I put the napkin, uh, the paper towel down, obviously. So look, I just remove it like this. Right. I did all of that. I pressed them down and all that just so we can push any water or whatever into this right here. So right. I'm going to set this off right here. Now, so I like this. I'm trying to level up, especially because you here. You know what I mean? Because you're bringing that, uh, that, that real twist to it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and add a little olive oil, right? right. This is just that scallion infused olive oil, which is this right here by Branch and Vaughn. I'm going to go ahead. Smells good, too. Man, it's, man, all of the products is fire, bro. Even all the things that you make, just think about everything that you make. You know what I mean? And uh, it's already good. And then you just do, it's all like little small things, just like drag racing, yeah. man. Take it you know up another mean? notch. Yeah, that's it. So you want to get them coated, just like you see right here. Look at that, y'all. Right? And the more and more you move them on, the more and more it transfers the, the garlic infused, excuse me, the scallion infused olive oil on each piece, right? Right. Right. Now, I'm going to talk about this right here. Today, we're going to be using this, look, black garlic. This right here is, <laughs> hey, this combination right here, I can't wait to hear what you say. What we want to do is we want to just add a little bit to it. I still sprinkle it on like this. I give it a couple of pinches. Uh-huh. And I like it because it's, it's grainy and you can see it, right? Right. Now, let's go a little bit more. Now, why I like it like that? So that way when I go ahead and I mix it, I can see what's on each piece. Right. Right? So that helps Make out. Make sure you get even coverage. Right. But I got to say this too. This, wait, we, we hey, just hold up, buddy. I got something for you. Just hold up. <laughs> Pulling out all the stops since today. Since you wanted to use that butter garlic, 
bring that over here. I had to raid your pantry. That's right. Hey, I'm gonna give it a little bit more because I can see it. That's what's important, guys. You want to season as you go. You know, use your eyes as you're seasoning. Make yes, sure sir. you get even coverage like he's doing right here. Yes, sir. Looking good. Now, I'm going to come with this garlic butter by Sweet Smokey Joe. Now, I talk about his products all the time. Listen, the sodium intake on this, the sodium count is low. Right. You know what I mean? So you're going to need a little bit of salt just to wake it up to make it even more flavorful. And that's where this salt came in. Right? That so. makes sense. Now, I made them on my channel before, uh, nephew. I've done them like this. And I've coated them. Yeah. Know, I did the flour, the cornstarch, and all that. But check it out. We going in like this, because then when we done, I'm finna toss mine in some barbecue sauce, man. And then I want you to taste this and tell me what you think. I can't wait. I'm hungry all right. You guys got to trust the process. You don't want to put too much, but this right here transferred on all of them. There you go. Tell me what you think. All right, so for our breading, we're using all-purpose flour and cornstarch, equal parts, one cup each. Then we're gonna season that up. We're going in with some seasoned salt. And one real important tip, guys, I always recommend tasting your flour because otherwise you're just guessing with what you're putting in there. And if it doesn't taste good before it goes into grease, it's not gonna taste good when it comes out. So we're going down with a little onion powder just a pinch of cayenne pepper to add a little bit of heat, not too much. And then we're making garlic parm wings, right? So we're going in with a little bit more garlic flavor. Or a lot more, depending on, you know, how you're feeling. Break out the whisk, give that a good mix. What we're doing right now is we're, we're looking at the flour to make sure that the color is looking right. That'll indicate that we got enough seasoning in there. And then the last step, as I said a minute ago, is to taste it, just to make sure that it's seasoned adequately. If not, We'll add a little bit more seasoning. So, we'll take a little fingerprint in there. I think it needs a touch more salt, so we're going with a little bit of seasoned salt. Give that a good mix. And then it's ready for our chicken. Okay, so look. Take a look at them coals. You know them coals is ready, right? See how they turn white? I remember when I was a kid, one time I was saying, hey, they burning out, let me add more to it. All right. That's when you put your food on top, when they get white. Yes, sir. Now, just a little chip. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this olive oil on here. Just like you see here. So if you guys ever wanna know like, why is your stuff sticking? Just right here. Hey, you can spray Pam on it, you can do whatever, but just do something. Right. Right. All right, so we leave them like this, because when I put the uh, wings on, I'm gonna put them on this side. And the beauty of having the spin grate is then I turn it around and put it on the direct side. All right, so look, now we got to talk about placement, right? So I'm going to cover this part right here. Since I got the whole trough right here, you know, hot, so it's not like it's burning from one end to another. We're not doing a long cook. Right. right. So since it's like this, we're going to go ahead and put it over here. And don't forget, this is only so big. But you know what? I'm going to go for the charcoal flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I like that on wings. You know, a lot of people, man, I see them, they doing all kind of stuff, man. They set stuff up to do certain things you know but hey, sometimes end, simple is best man at the end of the day when you decide you want to go outside and you just want to grill yourself some wings you know what i mean let's do it they still gonna be just as fire as anywhere else right you know what i mean and uh, we go from there so you can see i got them arranged this way right you can see over here on this side how the coals are look all right, guys, so we got the uh, deep fryer set up right now for 350 degrees, which is the perfect temperature to fry these chicken wings. All right, so we're just going to take these wings. Hey, nephew, I hate to interrupt you on this right here, though. <laughs> hey, but check this out. This right here is fire, bro. What you got in that cup, huh? You know that's that Kool-Aid, man? <laughs> hey, I should have did the traditional grape. You know me, I put a little something <laughs> extra in my Kool-Aid. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to toss these wings in the flour and the cornstarch mixture here that we already seasoned up. And you want to do this about 15 to 20 minutes in advance so it gives time for that flour to really adhere to the meat that ensures that your chicken wings are nice and crispy and that flour doesn't end up at the bottom of your fryer it stays on those chicken wings look at that As say it with me say, guys looking, looking good in <laughs> here with our hands of course make sure they're breaded nicely in that flour and cornstarch we're going for a kind of light breading here so we didn't use any eggs or buttermilk or anything like that because we're using the sauce for these. So you just want a real light breading just to ensure the skin gets nice and crispy. 
shake off any excess and we're set them in this baking sheet here for about 15 minutes to really allow uh, time for the flour to adhere to the meat. I can smell the grease warming up. These are some beautiful large chicken wings here. I'm getting hungry. This chicken was in the gym for sure. All right, so look, this is what it looks like after about 17 minutes, right? Look at the color that it's putting here on the top. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just turn these over just like this. Don't worry, they're not getting all crispy like everybody like it. That's what we're gonna use that direct side for. But right now, we're just gonna turn all of these over. Look just like this. Super easy. We're gonna set another timer for about another 15 to 17 minutes, and we're gonna go from there. All right, so this is how we're looking after about 15 minutes. You can see the flour is really adhered to the chicken. Looking good. I have my wire rack set up here. We're gonna allow the chicken to drain on this after they come out of the grease. Some people put their chicken right on the paper towel, but what happens is, is the paper towel absorbs that oil and it gets soggy. And what that does is it ends up making your chicken soggy. So I like to give it some time to drain on this wire rack and it'll get nice and crispy. And that's what we're going for. We have our oil up at a nice 350 degrees. We got some uh, wings that have been in the gym lifting. So we're gonna do these in batches. You never wanna overcrowd your fi fryer, guys. So give them some space and we'll do these in batches. If you overcrowd your fryer, you run the risk of your oil decreasing in temperature by too much. And then again, you're not gonna have crispy wings. So let's go ahead and drop these. About seven to 10 minutes and we'll check them. All right guys, so you just wanna make sure that they're not sticking to the bottom or sticking to each other. We're looking good right here. If it sticks, it's gonna burn. So you just wanna ensure that they're not sticking and then cover them back up and let them finish. So as you can see, they're getting nice and golden brown. They're just about done. Once they start to float and you can hear the grease getting kind of quiet, that lets you know that they're just about ready. Okay, so check it out. Hey, look, you look at this, you see that color right there? That right there is fire, right? Hey, they nice, all of that. So look, take a look at this bowl right here. This is what I'm gonna toss these in in the barbecue sauce. So look, we just take these out. Listen to this. You hear how they hit in there? Nice and crispy. There you go. There you go. Take a look at that right there. That's my savory brown, spicy, whatever you want to call it. But this is it right here. I'm ready to eat. Yes, sir. Now, we'll just take these like this. And we'll just give them a, a toss. Look at that right here. A lot of people probably won't even go back on their grill. Got to. <laughs> Look at that right there. I, I eat, eat one it. just like that. Yes, sir. All right, so now we got our last one on here, right? And this part is gonna be key. I got this spin grate. Check this out, folks. I'm gonna move this over here on this side. I'm not even gonna put the top back on here and we're gonna put it on the direct side, right? We want that heat underneath because we want to help caramelize the barbecue sauce that's on here. This right here, these are the, my little level up tips. Plus using those seasonings, you know, the salt, the oils and all of that. This is what separates smoking and grilling with AV from the rest. All right, so look, we're gonna turn them over because it don't take long. You see that right there? This right here. Look at that flavor, folks. All right, so these wings are done. We'll go ahead and remove them, place them on that wire rack we talked about. That way they can drain and remain nice and crispy. That's the perfect color right there. This might count as a money shot, huh? Hey, I can't, hey, I can't say nothing about it, bro. I'm Hands ready down. to eat. That right there looks good, man. All right, guys, so now that the wings are done, it's time to make our Parmesan garlic sauce. So what I'm gonna do is take the back of that knife and just give the garlic a light smash. You don't want to fully crush it because we're going to grate it. So we're going to peel the skin off the garlic here. All right guys, so now the garlic is ready. We're going in with about three tablespoons of melted butter. And we're going to use a little bit of this gar uh, garlic infused olive oil from Branch and Vine. About a tablespoon or two of that. We'll link to that in the description box below. And we're just going to grate some of this fresh garlic in there to really Get that garlic flavor throughout. 
about two cloves, nice size cloves. Man, I like that. Got to really get this. It's Parmesan garlic, right? So you got to you got to taste the, the the garlic. All right. So while my uncle helps me out here and chops up this parsley for me, we're gonna add in some grated Parmesan cheese for our Parmesan garlic wings. About a half cup or so of uh, grated Parmesan. We're also gonna add about a teaspoon more to taste, really, of that garlic butter. Break out the whisk, give that a good mix, and we're gonna toss our wings right in here. Oh man, that smells good. How fine do you like this? Fine as you can get. Mm. All right, now it's time to go ahead and coat these in our sauce that we just made. Oh, lost one. Good hands, huh? We got a little. All right, now that these are nice and sauced, we're gonna go ahead and plate these up on the cutting board. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and plate these up. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of that grated Parmesan cheese. Hey, check it out, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and just start laying some of these over here. Cause Looking you know we got good. this thumbnail, right? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and do it like this. I feel like, I don't know why I feel stressed right now, like me and you could competing, cause I know you love that presentation, bro. Now you're doing a good job. I'm trying to catch up to you. Just a little bit of chopped parsley for a pop of color. I think this right here, homie. Hey, this, this is a plaque. As you would say, let's get a money shot. I like it. Gotta have that pop of color. Gotta have it. All right, guys, we're about to wrap this up. We just showed you how to make fried chicken wings with Parmesan garlic sauce. My Uncle AB here showed you how to make perfectly grilled barbecue chicken wings. Nothing left to do but give it a taste test. I'm gonna try to barbecue. Hey, hey okay, cool. Let's dig in. I was just about to say, hey, please don't over talk it. I'm hungry. All right. Hey, look at that right there. Oh, ah, yeah. So good, don't even need sauce. Mm. That's done right. That barbecue sauce is good. Mmm. Yeah. You can taste that charcoal flavor. This right here fire, bro. Mmm. Hey, you wanna talk about, hey, the garlic is here, man. I like that. That, fr that grated fresh that garlic gives it a little pop. Hey, that's what I love about, you know, cooking with somebody else, man. Listen, I'm not too old to learn that right there. Hey, you'll see that. You're gonna see that real soon. <laughs> Only thing missing is the Kool-Aid. Oh, that's it. All right, guys, that's how you fry and smoke some chicken wings. Special thanks to my guy, AB. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.